let us look at the processes that Watson may be using a little bit more closely. Clearly, Watson is doing a large number of things. It is trying to understand natural language sentences. It is trying to generate some natural language sentences. It is making some decisions. I group all of these things broadly under reasoning. Reasoning is a fundamental process of knowledge-based AI. A second fundamental process of knowledge-based AI is learning. Watson clearly is learning also. It perhaps gets the right answer to some questions and stores that answer somewhere. It may get a wrong answer. And then, once it learns about the right answer, it stores the right answer also somewhere. Learning, too, is a fundamental process of knowledge-based AI. A third fundamental process of knowledge-based AI is memory. If you're going to learn something, that knowledge that we are learning has to be stored somewhere in memory. If you're going to reason using knowledge, then that knowledge has to be accessed from somewhere, from memory. So memory processes both store what we learn as well as provide access to knowledge that we need for reasoning. These three fundamental processes of learning, memory, and reasoning are intimately connected. We learn so that we can reason. The results of reasoning often result in additional learning. Once we learn, we can store it in memory. However, we need knowledge to learn. The more we know, the more we can learn. Reasoning requires knowledge that memory can provide access to. The results of reasoning can also go into memory. So here are three processes that are closely related. A key aspect of this course on knowledge-based AI is that we will be talking about theories of knowledge-based AI that unify reasoning, learning, and memory. Instead of discussing any one of the three separately, as sometimes happens in some schools of AI, we're going to try to build unified accounts of them. These three processes put together, I'll call them deliberation. This deliberation process is one part of the overall architecture of a knowledge-based AI agent. This figure illustrates the overall architecture of an AI agent. Here, we have input in the form of perceptions of the world and output in the form of actions of the world. The agent may have large number of processes that map this perception into actions. We are going to focus right now on deliberation, but the agent architecture also includes metacognition and reaction that we'll discuss later.